Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 24/7. I'm doing a full hardware overview of my 20-inch iMac. I was gonna save this video till I had it for eight months, but I think I know enough about it now that I can do a full hardware overview. So first, the display. This is a glass um, LED display with a black trim around it. So as you can see, you can see that. It comes with a cleaning cloth, but I got, um, I just picked up a spare that I had laying around in the house. So I just use that now. On the bottom, you get an Apple logo here. A brush, um, aluminum feel. On the top of it, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right here is the iSight camera that I use for most of my videos, and I plan to use that for all of them soon. On the bottom, again, you get a foot that holds the um, computer above, elevated off your um, whatever you're standing it on. Also, on the bottom, here is, it comes with the Apple keyboard, um, slim aluminum version. Alright, this keyboard is great. It's um, all aluminum. It's got two USB ends there and on the other side. I have my Xbox Live Vision camera plugged in for my live stream. So this is all um, great. It's nice and responsive. Haven't had too many problems. It is wired, so it's not wireless. I don't recommend the wireless one because it disconnects. Now the new Apple wireless keyboard, the new Apple wire keyboard, I'm sorry, um, takes away this number pad off and this leaves you with this part. So you have to add on the number pad feature, I think, for 20 extra dollars if you order online. So that's the keyboard. Here's the Mighty Mouse. This is a great button mouse. It's just one big click. As you can see, um, I have it um, like a standard mouse. Uh, this is my primary button. This is my secondary button. And it has a 360 degree scroll wheel, which is right here. So it can scroll up and down. It has two little squeezy buttons. Um, on the side here, that's one squeezy button, and there's two. If you squeeze that in, for me, it activates Expose, which is. Let me see all my windows at once. It also comes with um, wireless internet, which is also called Airport. Has a uh, just turn it around. Also comes with a um, a super drive, which is right here. This is the eight. Super drive. This is the eight layer super drive, so you can rip DVDs, um, burn DVDs, um, record CDs, and burn stuff. So, yeah, we turn around. All right, guys, I had to turn my camera around so I could show you the ports a little bit better. Um, here's a headphone jack, uh, a microphone jack, USB one, two, three, a total of three USB ports. And I have a USB hub connected to my for my printer. Also, fiber uh, 400, 800, uh, Ethernet, which I also use for backup in case my wireless doesn't work. And my mini DVI, the VGA, also known as uh, a dual display um, connector. So it's really good. Alright, as long as um, graphics cards goes, this has a... Um, ATI Radeon 2400 XT, which is um, really good to me because it puts off um, nice graphics on the display. Um, I also comes on the 24 inch as well, the um, ATI Radeon, I'm not quite sure. But the newer iMacs come with a NVIDIA um, GeForce. Uh, it's an NVIDIA GeForce, I know that much, but I don't know what it actually comes with. So, also, on the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but, um, I'll move it down. Right here, where my finger is, is where you can upgrade the RAM. This this model can take 
4 gigs of RAM. I'm currently using 1 gig, but I plan to upgrade it to 1 gig and to 4 gigs in the future. Also, the keyboard also comes with some shortcuts um, for the uh, comes with shortcuts. It, the, um, I'll try to show them all to you on the screen. Um, first one, brightness down. You can see the brightness is going down. Brightness up. And let's say I open a few windows. Let's go open a few apps here. Okay. Say I have all this stuff on my desk, on my desktop. And I don't want it there because it's called, because I want to work on one thing. So I just press F3 on the keyboard and what it does is it fans all the windows up and you can select the window you want. Um, the next one on the keyboard shortcut is dashboard. This displays all your widgets. And one widget that I do like, the, like the, you guys know about is iStat Pro, which is right here. Um, uh, of course, you get your iTunes controls, a back button, four button, play, pause, and um, you get your volume up and down, and your volume down. And, and here's mute, and then volume down. And then here's an eject button, so you can eject your CDs. So, yeah, guys, that's basically about it. Um, I probably will do an update video once I have the RAM upgraded. And if I have any more opinions on it. Also, I will be doing a full review of Leopard coming up in the next few weeks. So, I will see you guys later.